It's election season. Make sure you vote early and often. Avi Myers here. Uh, my co-producer, Sonny Hirsch, doing all the technical stuff. It is a pleasure to introduce you to one of the best candidates running for alderman in the 50th Ward, Peter George Sifnotis. How are you doing? Well, thank you. It's Abby. actually Sifnotis, right? Yes, Sifnotis. So, uh, and the thing to remember is it's actually Peter Sifnotis because that's how I filed as a writing candidate. Okay, so Peter, and you got to write the name in. Yes, you and gotta you gotta request a paper ballot. Don't uh, don't do the the touch screen because there's too much room for for fraudulent voting there. Fraudulent voting in Chicago, really? Oh, yeah, you couldn't <laughs> imagine. But there's there was uh, in the last election cycle, you had it all over the news. You had people. Uh, who are voting for themselves, uh, and the receipt would say their their opponent. So it all has to do is how the the machines are calibrated. So you got to request a paper ballot and write in Peter Sifnotis. Very good. Yeah, it's very important. I always do check over the thing afterwards before I, you know, before it goes into the uh, ballot box. It's always good. It's always good. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of fraud going on. So the fiftieth ward, of course, is my, our home ground here. That's basically. Most of West Rogers Park and Peter and parts of Peterson Park. Yeah, small portion, just north of Northeastern. And uh, how's the campaign? Campaign is good, uh, still going strong. Uh, it's been hard getting any kind of donations, so I'm mostly running on my own fuel. But uh, I still go door to door and meet residents and talk to them. A lot of them still have, uh, you know, I'd met them earlier in the fall, and and they they thought that I was no longer running because I was removed from the ballot and. Um, I mean, that's the whole point of the process is to make people forget about the, the viable candidates. Yeah, they, so no, it's true. But the fact is you are running. There are depth. Listen, you, you know, I, I've always, I do have people asking about you. I know people that really like you. And, um, you know, hopefully they will vote early and vote often on Election Day. And, um, I, you know, and, uh, you know, cast a ballot your way because you're one of the good candidates here in the 50th Ward. Absolutely, and the thing to remember is there's there hasn't been much change here in the 50th Ward, and you have to look at the, the whole city overall as well, because part of being an alderman is representing your ward and city council, and all of the bad things that have been happening here in the fifth, uh, in the city as far as school closures go, the, uh, the closing of mental health clinics, that's uh, something that the alderman has been complicit with 100% of the time. Well, the alderman basically, uh, she takes her marching orders from downtown, she has no brain of her own. As a matter of fact, her husband, he's been asked to sit behind her at the city council meetings. And whisper he, in her ear, telling her how to vote. Yeah, if not just pulling the strings. and well, But but he's got a secret passageway to Ram telling him what to do first. Right, right. <laughs> well, he wouldn't want to make the wrong decision. Uh, well, he's not allowed to think for himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's how they stay in power. They get, you know, they get the support from the, uh, the machine candidates. Um, and you can expect a lot of the endorsements coming their way because they don't want to mess with the... Uh, they don't want to mess with the powers that be? Well, some of these endorsements are so ridiculous, it's not even funny. For instance, um, I saw one candidate that, you know, being involved in community policing, I saw one candidate who had the endorsement of the Fraternal Order of Police. And I know that the policeman in the area that this person is alderman despise her like there's no tomorrow. So it makes me yeah. wonder who's, who's, who's spending money with whom in order to... Uh, exactly. You know. It has nothing to do with... I mean, en endorsements really can be quite silly and meaningless. Uh, they have nothing to do with um, the, the quality of the candidate or what they stand for. It has to do with um, how can this person bring influence to our organization. Yeah, and you know, some of these organizations aren't even real organizations. If, if a guy's really creative or, or could be a woman too and creates a fancy name for an organization, uh, I know one guy who, who basically, um, he's not doing it anymore, but he was a drooling idiot, literally. <laughs> But he thought of the greatest names, and people would proudly proclaim his endorsement because it'd be honest this or righteous that, and people yeah. would see it and embrace it and think, wow, this is wonderful. And they don't realize the guy the guy's busy sitting in his underwear with his hand down, uh, you know, <laughs> his hand down there like Yell Bundy and uh, doesn't yeah. have a clue. <laughs> no, absolutely. I mean, you've got a lot of those endorsements just really, um, they don't mean anything anymore. No, a lot of them don't, and you know, so much of it is bought and paid for too. That, uh, but you know, in terms of, so let's talk about. We've got two and a half minutes left. Yeah. Okay. What does the fiftieth ward need right now? Well, there's there's the obvious uh, need for development. We've got a lot of vacant storefronts that need filling. We've got a lot of vacant lots. Um, you know, they tore down the beautiful Northtown Theater uh, back in two thousand seven and replaced it with nothing because of the the, uh, the recession. So, um, we need to bring in new businesses that will attract. Uh, 
people to the ward to bring their, their revenue in, the tax dollars that'll help our schools um, and just help build the community. Uh, we need an alderman who's attentive to the needs of the resident, actually listens to their concerns. Uh, so we've had a few community meetings uh, over at Indian Boundary Park regarding the closure of the zoo, uh, where the alderman really expressed no desire to hear what everyone had to say. Um, with the streetscaping, you went to the meetings and they were kind of a farce. Uh, the plans were presented as, uh, here's what we're going to do instead of what do you want to see here. And the problem with the streetscaping is it doesn't just bring business. Um, it's not some harbinger of success. You have to actually have clean storefronts. You've got, uh, they're putting trees in the parkway, which when they start blooming in the spring are going to block the, the neighborhood business signs. Um, you're widening the sidewalks that reduce uh, traffic flow and restrict parking. There's a lot of things going uh, wrong here in the ward. We haven't changed much at all in the past four years. It's like Bernie 2.0. Yeah, well, actually, things are deteriorating because, it, you know, nothing stays the same. You right. either go up or you go down. We're going down. No, absolutely. I mean, you look all around us. You've got, uh, you've got Skokie, Lincolnwood, just right up at Tui and McCormick, which are, you know, two blocks away, uh, two blocks away from Winston Towers, part of our ward. Uh, and there's massive development going on. There's development in Lincoln Square, Uptown, uh, Rogers Park, and everyone kind of ignores the 50th. And a big part of that is the lack of transportation. Um, We've got, we've got the 49B that runs through the 55, or I'm sorry, the 155. And the, the 93 bus that only you know, runs every half an hour during the week. It doesn't run on Sundays. Yeah, if, if you're lucky and not on Sundays, right. Right. And it doesn't run at night either past a certain point. Exactly. At, at, at this point, we're really running out of time. Yeah. Uh, Peter Sifnotis is running as a write-in candidate. You've got to request the paper billet. You've got to write his name in. Absolutely. But he is a worthwhile candidate in the 50th Ward. Um, get out there and vote. We need a new alderman here. Thank you so Absolutely. much, Peter. Thank you very much. Good luck.